Breaking right now at the legislative building, the state house and Senate are in the process of overriding six vetoes Governor Roy Cooper made, including bills dealing with what teachers can say in the classroom and restricting what transgender minors can do. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us now live via Zoom from the legislative building where those votes are ongoing at this hour. Laura. Debbie, and today is about to tie a record for the number of vetoes overridden in a single day. Now, so far, just in the last few minutes, both the House and the Senate have overridden Governor Cooper's veto of the Parents' Bill of Rights. It will ban classroom discussion of sexual orientation or gender identity from kindergarten until fourth grade, through fourth grade, I should say. It also requires schools to inform parents if a student asked to use a different name or pronouns. That now becomes law. The House has also overridden five other vetoes, including measures that would ban gender-affirming care for transgender people under 18 and ban transgender girls from uh, girls and women's sports teams. Uh, the other bills would block energy efficiency updates from the building code, uh, loosen regulations on charter schools even when they aren't performing well, and allow local school boards to raise property taxes to pay for charter school buildings, something that isn't currently allowed in law. All five of those are now on their way over to the Senate, where they are likely to be overridden as well, becoming law tonight. Uh, Republicans do have a veto-proof majority in both chambers, so these overrides were expected. However, we did see some House Democrats voting with Republicans against the governor, Deb. Well, a lot happening there at the legislative building. Laura Leslie live for us tonight. Thank you, Laura.